morning. Welcome Casa Taxpina, day 13. Um, we should be getting the delivery of concrete hollow blocks today. Um, they're not quite completely cured yet, so they're going to leave them out on site and maintain uh, putting water on them on a regular basis to uh, continue the curing process. Uh, so those should be delivered sometime today. So the guys should be continuing to excavate the column footer foundations. Uh, there are still a couple that haven't been uh, started. Uh, they'll finish those today. Um, and then, we, like I said earlier, we're uh, expecting delivery of uh, our first order of uh, concrete hollow blocks. That'll be a little bit green, uh, so they maintain uh, moisture on them throughout the day um, to, to let them go ahead and finish curing on site. So, let's go ahead and get today started. All right, let's take a quick walk around and see what everybody's doing. Like I said, they're still doing the bucket brigade. Some of them are still digging the column footers and the foundation walls are still being dug out. Morning. Watch your toes. <laughs> Guys unloading 2,500 blocks all by hand. If it's one thing Philippines knows how to do is manual labor. They are not afraid of doing work. As you can see, some of the blocks are still a little green. Um, not quite up to uh, PSI yet. They're not completely cured. They uh, still got to keep a lot of water on this for the next couple days. Uh, let it finish curing. All right. Well, we're going to check back later and see what this looks like when they get it all finished. Well, all the concrete hollow block has been offloaded. Got down this side of the street and around this side of the street so like i said these are still a little green yet they're gonna keep them keep them wet uh for the next the rest of the week at least until they're all cured up uh looks like while we were away they also delivered our three-quarter minus uh gravel so let's take a look at that oh, look like they got some more cleanup to do Columns and footers are all done being fabricated. Those will start going up next week. Um, so they're still spreading the aggregate in the bottom. This is the G1 gravel that's still going around. See Mr. Carlito over there in the corner. Still filling up the buckets for the bucket brigade. Now with uh, G1 gravel as opposed to just getting rid of the sand. <laughs> so we're sifting sand this is how you get rid of the big rocks oh. this willy this is the box they're going to use to do the concrete uh, mortar for the spacer blocks cool so you're gonna move the um, the concrete mixer here. Oh, okay. Cool. Let's go look. So 
So where all these are, these are really old forms. Uh, they're gonna reuse these as just a, a drying place for the spacer blocks. And this is gonna be <laughs> the, this is gonna be the form for their spacer blocks. Uh, they're gonna put our concrete in the base of it um, up to five inches. And that's going to be the, the spacer block that they're going to use at the bottom of the uh, footer foundations. My foreman's multitasking today. Remember I told you the uh, concrete hollow blocks came in. They're still a little green, not quite uh, completely cured. So they're going to wet them down four times a day, uh, probably for the rest of this week. So you get them all wet and the curing process continues. You can smell the concrete. As soon as he puts the water on it, it still smells like fresh concrete. You put water on an old brick, all you smell is a wet old brick. These are still green, the concrete's still curing. You smell fresh concrete as soon as he puts water on it. These are probably going to cure for about another rest of this week dumping out the fresh cement and they're gonna mix the cement and the sand now mix it together right here make a little hole in the middle pour a certain amount of water and that's gonna be their uh, just pure cement that they're gonna use for the spacer blocks Just on the other side of the neighborhood, between us and the road, it's like somebody caught a, caused a brush fire. The uh, fire department came out and they started making sure it wasn't going to come over the fence. So take a look. Got almost all the way to the road. fire department.
front gate for the subdivision right there. Fire department brought in hoses over the fence and from around the side, trying to knock it down and make sure it doesn't come across the fence on us. Because some of that grass on the other side of the fence is probably a good six to seven feet tall. <clears throat> That's enough rubbernecking. Let's get back over here and take a look at the site. You can see there we got more sand. Oh, sorry, we didn't get more sand. We had the sand from the other day, uh, from yesterday, and then we got more gravel this morning. That's the, the other um, large pile to just to the right of the door. Let's go ahead and come in and take a look at what the guys have been doing today. As you can see, a lot of the um, a lot of the walls are really starting to show where they're going to be located at. We'll see if I can get you a good, a good scene. Good afternoon. That's a wrap on Costa Texpina day number build day number 13. Still doing a lot of excavation. Um, the guys are starting to <laughs> bake me a cake with all those uh, spacers that they're working on over there. They've got 121 of those to make um, to put underneath the column footer cages. We also took delivery today for half of the initial uh, purchase for uh, concrete hollow blocks uh, we're supposed to be receiving the other half of the purchase tomorrow uh, so we should come up with a total of a little over 5,000 uh, concrete hollow blocks uh, and I believe both of them will still be green uh, so we'll be keeping them uh, wet for the next uh, the remainder of this week and probably early part of next week until they get ready to start building the uh, foundation walls had a little bit of excitement this afternoon we got back from merienda getting our afternoon snack and <laughs> somebody set the place ablaze uh, there was some uh, uh, looked like a small grass fire on the front side of the subdivision that went from the wall on the other side of my neighbor all the way out to the street so it probably covered about mm, probably five to six acres and you could hear the the fire crackling uh, as the grass was burning and it made its way over it looked like it might have caught the singe to the bottom of a couple of trees um luckily the uh, mavalaka city fire department was uh quick to respond and um put out the fire uh rather quickly and kept it under control good job thanks to fire rescue well, that's it for this afternoon. So Casa Texpina, build day number 13 is in the books. If you liked our videos, please hit the like, comment, and subscribe at the bottom. Uh, if you wanna be notified when our next video will be available, hit the little bell icon, and you'll know when we put up our next video. So until tomorrow. Thank you for watching. If you liked today's video, please hit like, 
subscribe, and hit the little bell icon to be notified when our next video becomes available.